every day, you mm-hmm. always want to know who Charlemagne the God's donkey of the day yes. is. Yes, who is the donkey? Conservative social media influencer charged for her role in January 6th attack mm-hmm. on the U.S. Capitol. Mm-hmm. A conservative social media influence has been charged with storming the U.S. Capitol and passing a stolen table out of a broken window. Oh, that don't sound like she was on a tour to me. No, she was on a tour and she's a hostage. Oh, so she was on a tour. No, no, I'm being funny. Oh, I was like, what? Passing a stolen table out of the broken window. Well, if hostages can do that, then that's good. They can try to break themselves out and go home. Allowing other rioters to use it as a weapon against the police department. Hostage. Do they not know the news that's going on in, in, in Gaza and... Isabella Maria hostages was arrested last Friday in Irvine, California on a misdemeanor charge, including theft of government property, disorderly conduct, and entering a restricted area. DeLuca has about 335,000 followers on her platform, formerly known as Twitter, and is a former congressional intern who works as a media associate for the Gold Institute for International Strategy. DeLuca's profile on the Institute's website says she served as ambassador for the conservative youth organization, Turning Point USA. She has more than 125,000 followers on Instagram. Also interned for former U.S. Rep Lee Zeldin of New York and Paul Gosser of Arizona, both of whom are Republicans who have supported former President Donald Trump. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. So he said she got the donkey of the day because when she went in, Mm -hmm. she said she wasn't um, rioting. She said that? Yeah. And they have her on camera. Yeah. Throwing a table or something. Yeah. What is wrong with her? Yeah. I'm trying to get her direct quote. Um, This to me is considered white privilege. Thank you. This is white privilege for anybody that- Oh, that's it. He gave her donkey of the day because she said people went to the Capitol building because that's our house. And that's where we go to take out our grievances. Now, had she been a black person. So Charlemagne said. They wouldn't have said that. About let her. any black person say, that's, that's our, our house. house. You see what no, white no, privilege that's is? That's our house. We're taking out our grievances. I'm taking out my grievance. I'm that on my house. A white privilege comment. Thought. Pattern. I don't even know what else to say. That's why he gives her donkey of the day. If even a white person condones what she said. That's our house. Yeah, she's right. It is. You're just as white privileged thinking as she is. Thank you. That's scary. To go in somebody's office. That's scary. Open the window yeah. and throw a table out you're so previous. other people can use it uh-huh. to hit police officers. It's, it's your house, your grievances, you're just letting out steam. This is the person who Trump will pardon if he becomes president of the United States. That is called a hostage. Do we not know the terminology of hostage? You're and taken you know by, against your will. Again. You knucklehead. If you were the type of person that was voting for Trump, because you maybe say, I like his policies, this, that, and the other. Right. I can't stand he by the Supreme Court people in right, that we right, want right. to do over Then I'll abortion. have a conver- I'll have a conversation yeah, with you. Yeah. But if you are a Trumpster and his or take a, on the Ukraine. If you are a Trumpster or a mega person, you're a moron. Because you take up for him. So you're saying unless it's if, if anything other than policy driven. You're a moron. Because if you because you take up for him. You're condoning this behavior. You condone his behavior. You condone their behavior. 
and you excuse every single thing that he's done. But yeah, when you sit, that's the thing that gets me with this. And you mad at Obama if he didn't shake somebody's hand. Yeah. If he went walk past him. And the thing that gets me is, it's almost like, who was it that was, oh God, what special was that? The guy was, oh, it was um someone's documentary. And they did a document. Oh, it was Kaepernick. I'm sorry, Kaepernick. He was talking in his documentary, if any of you had seen it, he and his friends, his buddies, when they football played, they was younger. They would have fun in the in the in the lobby of the hotel, funning with each other, you know, hey man. And they got in trouble. He got in trouble with his black friends. Mm -hmm. The same group of athletes on the other team, white, did the same thing. Same thing. They get they trouble. overlooked it. So this white privilege has to stop. It really has well, to stop. we've been saying that You forever. see a, a group of black men and a group of white men, and you look at them differently, you fear them differently, you're concerned about one group than the other. How dare you say what happened on January 6th? And you know what? It's a grievance. And this is why when you make comments I'm in so our tired. comment section yes. and you take up for Trump and Mega, I delete it or I call you a moron. Because you know damn well, if that was a group of black people that did what y'all did on January 6th, exactly we'd be shot on, on sight mm -hmm. and we wouldn't be called hostages. And, and, and we would be probably shot before we even broke windows. I told you when we'd be shot. Just walking up the no, stairs. No, they wouldn't even. We would have been at the rally. Uh -huh. And somebody would have got on stage and uh -huh. said, let's march over there. And before he would have got the words out of his mouth, sprays of bullets <laughs> would have come through that crowd and mowed everybody down. Helicopters. If you think for one minute you're going to march <laughs> over to the Capitol uh -huh. and demand and kick the doors in, yep. you're out of your damn mind. Remember when um, Rodney King situation and they were mad and pulling him out and other things that was going on, burning stores and looting. They were on, word got out that they were on their way to Hollywood area. And that's when it stopped. The L.A. Yeah, riots. see nobody else. <laughs> All they needed to hear. Y'all remember some of y'all older. Yes. The L.A. riots. Yes. Let them burn down God, Compton and everything for days. <laughs> they heard some Negroes on camera say, let's go to Beverly Hills. All of a sudden, the troops came in. It was like and said, "You think you out of your mind? You stand if right you in think your you're gonna march up this highway to come to Beverly Hills, <laughs> we shutting all this down." Oh yes, you sat and watched it for a little bit until they started saying, "We didn't tore up this city." Now they go to the next. They'll day. sacrifice <laughs> a few, like Reginald Diddy got sacrificed. <laughs> The truck driver that went in, he got yeah. yanked out. They didn't shut it down for him. Sorry. You Take one for the boys. Wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, God. They'll sacrifice a few. <laughs> but not you're not marching ooh, to Beverly Hills. Ooh. So they were afraid. The same thing is going on in Haiti. Yes. yes. Right now, the gangs are taking over Haiti. Mm -hmm. But there's a few families that have always run that place mm. because they've got money a large from, the, from United. the United States and other countries. Yeah. And they've ran that country down into the ground and misused and used mm. the labor and everything from those people. Mm. Then when the gangs took over and decided to crash into police stations mm. and terrorize people, yeah. You keep that stuff down that hill. If you think for one second you're going to march up that hill to those billionaire homes and millionaire homes oh. that Clinton and all of them own, yes. we will send the troops in there so fast. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Yes. So she pretty much made that stupid comment. That's why. It's our house. Our house. They, a lot of people, not all whites, because we're not saying, we're not doing we're a We're talking statement. about the morons. We're talking about the ones who think like she's thinking, which most of the time is the mega people. But 
people, there are people other than and you can't that even say way. white. It's stupid black people and Hispanics. Dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that moron mentality is really sad. I saw this one black mega guy. They interviewed him. Mm-hmm. They said, "What if you found out tomorrow that Trump murdered a million people, a hundred people, or something? Mm-hmm. Mold them down." He said, "I still vote for him." <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. He said, "There's nothing you can do, even if it was his family and friends." There's nothing you can you do stupid. to keep me Negra. from voting for Trump. <laughs> Even to the tune that Sexy Red, the rapper, mm-hmm. she changed her hat. It doesn't say mega anymore. Mm. Guess what it says? What, Trump? M-A-S-A. M-A-S-A. Make America sexy again. You know what? <laughs> but guess what that says? What? Massa. Oh. Use a dumb Negro. Massa man. Massa man, you want me to come in? She's so stupid. Wow. Why would you wear a hat that says that says yeah. Massa? Massa. Yeah, boo. She's young though. She's young and stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what? You gotta teach her. That's the dumbest thing I've heard. Yeah. We we it's unfortunate that a lot of people in our country that it's not common sense anymore. People don't do research. They don't they don't they don't Jimmy Kimmel show always shows people on the street. He went to that mega that mega thing in um Ohio and they questioned they came pretended to be, you know, just a general uh it, per, a news person. They were questioning the mega people. They didn't know anything. They really don't know nothing about they the government. They only know what Trump How tells many them. amendments? I think it's two. And then they assume. Two of them. This is the part that gets me. Oh, they assume if you're not on the mega train, you must be on the Biden train. Yeah. They can't even comprehend mm-hmm. that you think both men mm-hmm. are not good. Yeah. One is just a lunatic. That's all. There's issues on both sides. You got Mussolini or Hitler. Which one are you voting for? Oh, I wouldn't put him in the Mussolini. <laughs> I know, I'm just throwing that. Oh God, no. I mean, I, I get it. There's there's untrust on both sides for sure. You know what I would? I would I would put it still, in that. We need you know why them. I would put it in that category just for this? Mm-hmm. If I was a Jewish person, I would do Miss Mussolini because I say the 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 Hitler don't like me. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Not what's another one? Uh, what's the one Uganda? Idi Amin. Idi Amin. Idi Amin and Hitler. Which one you voting for? Now, if I was black, I say I vote for Hitler, cause he ain't after me. He's after the Jewish but people. He but he didn't stuff. like us either. You yeah, didn't like. Remember nobody. the after athletes at the uh, Olympics. It gotta be. He didn't even shake their hand. You gotta put up two extreme people, I and one know. of them gotta be not anti you. That's the one you would vote for. That's what I'm trying to put point in. Well, I don't know. That's your opinion. Still, I don't think the Biden side is that extreme. No, I didn't even say that. though there's. I'm saying to use yeah. those those analogies, but still, like you're saying, there's not trust on both sides, though. And people have a hard time figuring it out in this election. Um, Emerald says we wouldn't have never made it that far. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. The word got out. If our body was, if our bodies were facing it and getting ready to walk to it, and it was too many of us, they already get nervous when it's a crowd. Look how when when whoever watched the movie Rustin when they were gathering the walk because he had a hard time trying to get NAACP and Martin Luther King and all of the leaders to do that march on the the, the march of I Have a Dream march. And that, he was very instrumental. They were afraid. They you did know, not want a lot of us at one spot you near know, the White House. And you know another reason why they're not hostages and they're criminals? Because mm-hmm. not everybody that was at the rally went in. Exactly. Not everybody who came to the rally went in. Yeah. Some people had common sense yeah. and said, I'm not going in there. Oh, I'm coming to support Trump. Uh-huh. I'm coming for the rally. That's as far as I'm going. I believe that the election was stolen. I think yes. we should go to the courts yes. and fight it out. Thank you. I'm not storming the Capitol. Thank you. A lot of times, too, the white privilege mentality is when they do it in crowd settings. 
Because if you thought maybe one or two of them, they wouldn't do, they wouldn't be that bold. But a lot of times we've had issues in the past. They always do it in crowds. They do it in crowds. And if it's not alcohol related, it's crowds. Well, that's why the KKK would run up on people in a crowd. Yes, Pull you out of your bed in the middle of the night. It wasn't no one guy who did it. One one KKK member, he had to have some friends. Yeah, it had to be a whole bunch of them. Yeah. That's sad. Though. All right, so let's move on. Okay. All right. Um, that's it. Done with them. Um, don't forget. 